Good morning, happy Monday, Keisha Johnson here. First, I want to welcome all of our new family members here to the community. We are so glad you are here. Um, you can find the scripture writing plan as well as the one year Bible reading plan up under the announcements tab at the top of the group. And if you would like for it to be emailed to you within that post, there is also a link for you to click on to subscribe to the inner circle and put your email address. Um, if you want the um, information, all of the resources emailed to you uh, in the future going forward. So I am here this morning. Um, you may or may not know know um, Secrets of the Secret Place by Bob Sorge. I have read through this book uh, several times over several years. I think I found it about maybe five or six years ago. There are 52 chapters in the book, so or 52 lessons, um, I like to call them. So I will be showing up here or posting a pre-recorded video every Monday with a lesson. At least that is what I am committing to. Um, so lesson one is under the announcements tab and I am about to read lesson two and so I had a few of you ask um, we will continue the Bible reading plan as usual this is just something extra like the cherry on top if you choose to follow along with the weekly lessons you can if not you don't have to it's for whoever wants to participate so lesson one um, we read and it was the secret of saying yes and then we talked about the different things that Cornelius committed to um, that we were going to commit to last week so number one was he gave regularly to the poor so our assignment was to find someone in need to bless he lived a holy lifestyle he practiced fasting and he adhered to the secret place um, and so I'm I'm going to dump, dump, jump not I was about to say dive and jump all in one word I'm going to dive right in or jump right into lesson two and lesson two is the secret of the shut door and the scripture reference that we are using to open up this um, this lesson is Matthew 6 Matthew chapter 6 verse 6 but you when you pray go into your room and when you shut the door pray to your father who is in the secret place and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly and that was Matthew 6 6 all right I'm gonna jump right in Jesus himself Jesus himself spoke these blessed words all scripture is God breathed but followers of Jesus always find special delight in giving particular attention the giving particular attention to the words Jesus himself gave us when Jesus taught on prayer he gave primary emphasis to the secret place in fact the first thing he taught concerning prayer was the primacy of the secret place in the verses following he would teach us how to pray but first he teaches where to pray Matthew 6 6 contains a powerful secret regarding to wait regarding the where of prayer but before I share it let me ask you a question so these are a few questions for us to think about do you struggle frequently with feeling disconnected from God do you strain to feel God's presence when you pray and does he seem distant to you and the last question do you long to know that he is with you right now drawing near to you if your answer to any of these questions is yes, then I have some wonderful news for you. This is a guaranteed way to get into God's presence. There is a surefire, 100% guaranteed way to have instant, somebody say instant in the comments, instant intimacy with the Father. And Jesus himself gave us the key. Jesus gave us the secret in the above verse when he said, your father who is in the secret place. Jesus is saying your father is already in the secret place. Go ahead and type that in the comments. My father is already in the secret place. He has gone ahead of you. He is waiting for you. The moment you get to the secret place, you are in the immediate presence of your father Jesus affirmed this twice in the same chapter he says in the second time he says it the second time in Matthew 6 verse 18 so that you do not appear to men to be fasting but your father who is in the secret place and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly Jesus says it twice for emphasis so we know this word is absolutely certain our father is in the secret place 
Furthermore, Jesus gives us the key to finding the secret place. If you're wondering what you must do to place yourself in a secret place, Jesus made it clear. To get there, all you have to do is shut the door. <laughs> And for most, you may be saying, I don't have a room where I can shut the door. I don't have a closet where I can shut the door. For me, sometimes it was in my closet, or that can simply mean shutting the door to your heart, shutting everything else out, all the cares of the world, your to-do list and everything else, and shutting the door to your heart. When you enter your room, it could even be the bathroom. When you enter your room and shut your door, you are in the presence of your father instantaneously it matters not how you feel regardless of your soul's climate at that moment you know with absolute confidence you have stepped into the chamber of your father in heaven the secret place is your portal to the throne the place where you taste of heaven itself receive this word y'all type in the comments i receive it receive this word and you have gained one of the greatest secrets to intimacy with god because when you know you are in the immediate presence of your father your spirit and soul will often respond to that knowledge with heart felt connectedness the knowledge of this truth will set your spirit free to soar when you build your life on the blessed intimacy of a secret place relationship with God you are building on the rock you're getting your foundations in order that's not simply my opinion he says that's the explicit teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ the principles Jesus gave in chapters 5 through 7 of Matthew's gospel we are all given at one in one great sermon Jesus said that in this sermon he was laying forth the foundation stones of a disciple's life here's how he expressed it and I'm going to read Matthew 7 verses 24 through 27 it says therefore whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock and the rain descended the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house and it did not fall for it was founded on the rock but everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell. And great was its fall. Again, that was Matthew 7, verses 24 through 27. Jesus' message is unmistakable. He is saying, if you hear and do what I have taught you in this Sermon on the Mount, you will build foundations into your life that will survive the harshest storms of life and we all know the storms of life will come and believe me friend storms will most certainly come there are some storms that have hit that have yet to hit your life the question is will you have the foundation in place to survive the storms one of the most essential elements of that foundation is to have an intact secret life with God those who hear this word and do it will not only enjoy intimacy with the Father on a daily basis, but they will also be equipped to sustain the greatest storms, whether they originate from hell's fury or the world's distractions or the floodgate of heaven's blessings. Don't forget the secret. So the secret this week is shut your door. So the challenge for this week is to find a space just for you and God where you can go in, close the door if possible, and just dedicate that space to him. For some, it might just be a little itty bitty corner of your living room. And again, just shutting the door to your heart, tuning out all the noise and everything that's around you. It can be your bathroom. It can be your car. Just find a spot. You know, for a long time, I just had a little basket that would have my Bible, my journal, my oil, and a pen and some highlighters. And it would be a little corner in my living room where I would pick up that bathroom basket and go sit in the bathroom. And it was literally me just sitting in the bathroom on the edge of the bathtub and reading so just find a space it doesn't have to be super fancy just find a space so that's your challenge for this week and the declaration for this week is the secret place is my portal to the throne to the throne the place where I taste heaven itself and um, a question for you to meditate on this week is do I have the foundation in place to survive life's storms and the secret for the week is shut the door all right i'll see you all next monday